Hi, Michaela and Darren here again, talking about Rapid Mask today. Darren, do you want to tell us how Rapid Mask is actually exposed versus the traditional washout photoresist film? Yeah, absolutely, Michaela. <clears throat> Hello, everybody, again. <clears throat> Just want to mention uh, briefly, we do make a water developing film. Um, you know, this film is exposed with ultraviolet light and water developed. Um, the exposure time is usually about three or four clicks. Um, as you know, on the dial of these electrolytes, it's a one or a two, which is minutes. Uh, there's not a 30 second or 40 second mark. So you kind of learn it by clicks over time. So we do have that film. But what I want to show you now is the rapid mask that we showed on the previous video. Uh, let's kind of dive in more. We're going to get into uh, exposing the film correctly. And uh, we're going to still use the two pieces that we had uh, on the last one. So we have our 45 DPI half tone and our AccuArt grid. So in this example, we're going to do the two mil wrap mask because that's my favorite film for doing half tones and that really fine detail work. So I'm going to grab a sheet and you can see I'm working in white lights here in this environment. So I'm not having to uh, protect it or work in the dark. I can work in regular lights. So the first thing I do is lay out my artwork and then I'm not going to use a full sheet in this example. So what I want to do is just cut this along here so I can save the other remains for another time. So because what happens when you fully expose the film is you can't use it. So I'm going to use these scraps for later on. So here's my two pieces. I'm going to take this film and since I'm not going to use it for a while, I'm going to put it back in my box and protect it from um, UV and whatnot. So here we go, I got my artwork and my film. So the wrap mask has three sheets. There's a hard sheet, so I call it carrier. The carrier, you cannot scratch with your fingernail. The soft side is your slip sheet. That side you can scratch with your fingernail. Uh, when you do this over and over like uh, we do, and like a lot of our customers do, you're gonna tell by the texture of it. One side's soft, kind of textury, and the other side is really slippery. Okay, people that use inkjet film too, good example is when you put your ink face down on the soft side, these two sheets are exactly the same. They're both really slippery mylar. So once you get into that habit, it makes it a lot simpler. So you'll take your slip sheet side, which is the side you can scratch, or the softer side. Um, another trick is you can see a little bit of a bowl it's got a little bit of an edge coming up, like a bowl. So I usually tell people you want to fill your bowl with ink, right? If you if you lay the bowl upside down, it's going to spill everywhere. So if you put the bowl up, you put your ink in the bowl. Okay. Another little phrase I do is uh, the matte finish of your AccuArt to the matte finish of the film. I call that matte. See how to matte. So there's a variety of ways to help you remember which way to go. The way that's important is when you put it down on your piece, that's how it's going to look. So you want to make sure your artwork is right reading. Okay? So the next part is you put it on this electrolyte pad. And Michaela, if you can look here, uh, when you get an electrolyte pad, uh, it's going to come with a black mat and a cylinder, but they're not hinged. Uh, I recommend putting a piece of tape across to hinge the mat to the cylinder so that way it's a lot easier to use. You're not going to lose the mat. And uh, very, very simple. Yeah. Darren, what tape works best for taping the mats onto the cylinders? Any type of masking tape works fine. Uh, as you can see, I use painter's tape on this one. So any kind of masking tape, I've seen people use clear tape. Um, any kind of thinner tape. You don't want to use the really wide stuff because you don't want to really cover up too much on your cylinder. So you should get like the two inch wide tape at the most. Okay, okay. great. And another thing you'll notice with your electrolyte pad is leave it unhinged on the opposite end. So you keep it laid out flat or you'll kind of like, you know, leave it loose when you're not using it. That'll extend the life of that pad several years. All right, so what I'm gonna do is expose. This is a, my best uh, favorite part it's where all the magic happens. So we're gonna roll the mat over and uh, it's gonna be a little tight on your first initial um, exposures because this mat is supposed to be very tight to give you a tight exposure. So what you do is you grab two hands and pull up and it hinges. A good little 
thing to do is look at the artwork, make sure it's facing you, because light has to hit the artwork first before the film. All right? So think of it like sunglasses. You're protecting the film, like a pair of sunglasses. So, final step, you put on the electrolyte, and here on the dial, you'll see a one and a two. That's minutes. So we're gonna set this one to 90 seconds, which is right in the middle. Okay. So it's gonna dial down to zero there, and we have a completed mask. So, the liberty of uh, technology. <laughs> I was able to make one previous to this, and this is how your final result's gonna be. So you can see that the light went through the clear areas, and what happens in the process is the light will first hit the glue, dissolve the glue, so there's no glue whatsoever on the film. The next step is it's gonna turn the film dark, like you can see here, very dark, very shady, kind of getting a sunburn. And then the final step is the film gets brittle. So it goes from dry out the glue to getting the film darker and then the film brittle. So it's like putting a piece of white bread in a toast. Um, you're basically getting it darker and, and brittle. So that's how wrap mask works when you expose it. And uh, this is gonna give you a phenomenal detail. There's no labor involved to wash out film, so it's a lot easier. You can do, you can see how much uh, space it takes up in your home, your business. You can do this right at your office desk. So it's very simple. But the detail capability is phenomenal, better than any process in the world. So hopefully you'll have time to try a piece or two and call us any questions. Great info, Darren. Thanks, and for everyone watching, stay tuned for our next video on application.